Happy lunch hour, guys. So I got a question for you. What would you do if you got a job offer and they said, I'll just make up numbers here. We want to pay you $50,000 a year. So you accept the offer and you get your first paycheck and find out they're ma you're making $30,000 a year. What would you do? You'd probably go in screaming and yelling to HR going, this ain't what I signed up for. Now, what if HR came back to you and said, well, you know what? You can always put it on your credit card. Yeah. Okay. You'd probably tell them to take the job and stick it where the sun don't shine. Well, that's pretty much how our government works. Now, I've, I've told you this for the better part of a year and a half to keep an eye on the 10 year treasury. We talked about one and three quarters being panic or, you know, being worrisome 2%, you know, everything getting up to panic mode. We're now at three. Okay. Uh, we crossed over three this morning. We're at 2.997 right now as I'm recording this. It's funny because the treasury came out the other day in tips. If you know what those are, treasury, treasury, uh, inflation protected bonds, paying 9.6% interest for the next six months or something like that, thereabouts. <clears throat> but what I had told you guys, and this is what's important, uh, about the government being broke, not being able to afford to borrow money anymore. That was what was going to happen. Now, sure enough, we hit 3% this morning, and that must have been where the Treasury says, whoa, stop can't do anymore. Okay. Because they announced this morning that they are going to cut the auction sizes more than they expected to. Now, the interesting part is the bullshit line coming out of the treasury is that tax revenues were higher than expected. And so therefore the government doesn't need to borrow as much money. I'm sorry, that may play well to the balloon heads at CNN, but that does not register for anybody who's got any sort of critical thinking skills. I'll give you this. Okay. Mind you, at 3% on the tenure, and I mean, we could talk about the 2, the 5, the 7, the 10, the 30, whatever you want to do. Interest rates are going up. The Fed is going to be hiking rates. We're in stagflation, okay? Bad economy, inflation money, or inflationary prices. That's called stagflation. The government can't afford to borrow money. They don't have more than they thought. Here's why I say that. For the first five, remember, taxes, the tax revenue that they just collected last month was 2021 income, all right? The unemployment rate was above 6% for the first five months of the year last year. The only month that the unemployment rate was below 4% was December at 3.9. Why? You get all that, gee, come take your part-time job working at Walmart, Target, UPS, whatever would be, and the unemployment rate came down. Unemployment rate's gone back up. You know that. Okay, We're back above fours. So you had, let's say on average, somewhere around five and a half, five to five and a half percent unemployment. Okay. So that's tax money that's not happening. How many businesses went out of business because of shutdowns, lockdowns? Okay. I mean, y'all know you went to restaurants or whatever it was and they were closed. They closed early. They didn't have any staff, whatever it would be. Okay. If, restaurant, if businesses aren't open, they aren't making income. If you aren't making income, you don't pay taxes. Same with people. You don't make any income, you don't pay taxes. So what was everybody doing last year? All right, Couldn't go shopping. All the stores were closed. So Walmart and Amazon had banner years, correct? Okay. Amazon, what did they pay? $4.79 billion in taxes. Oh, by the way, they found write-offs to avoid paying another 
$2 billion in taxes. Remember Warren Buffett's comment of my secretary pays a higher tax rate than I do? You want to know what, what Amazon's tax rate was for last year? 6.1%. I pay more than that in sales tax, okay? let alone income tax, all right? where the rest of us are paying 15 to 20%, Joe Average, Amazon paid 6 Okay, Walmart, Walmart stayed open. Walmart made a bunch of money, right? Walmart paid $6.5 million in taxes for the year. $6.5 million. A single store does more revenue than that in a year. So that means my little Walmart here paid the Ted, you know, what they got off of all of us, probably paid the taxes for every other store in the, co in the company. Don't tell me tax revenues are up. Businesses were out of business. The big companies paid minuscule amounts of tax. And Joe Average didn't have a job or didn't make money or was on unemployment for X amount of time. Don't tell me tax revenues are up. Up from expectations, maybe, okay? But don't tell me they're up. I can expect the tax revenues are going to be a dollar. And if they come in at two, they're up from expectations. That doesn't mean shit, <laughs> okay? So they're trying to spin this that, oh, don't worry about it. Everything's good and everything. Nope. Sorry. The government is now broke, they can't afford to, to borrow money. What does that mean? That means all these billion-dollar pet projects, trillion-dollar projects that Potato Joe wants to put through, we can't pay for them. We want to give $33 billion to Ukraine to protect their border. Mind you, we only spend $15 billion protecting our own border, but, you know, hey, why not give some country in Eastern Europe twice as much money as we have? Well, we don't protect our border anyway, right? You know, I mean, that's pretty obvious. This is the financial calamity we are in, guys, where everybody says, oh, gee, the government's going to bail us out. The normies, not us. All right. The government doesn't have any money to do it. They're broke. I mean, not $30 trillion in broke. They're broke, don't have any money, and they can't borrow anymore because they can't afford it. Is this going to rein in spending? It should. In a normal household, it would. Honey, we have more bills than we have income. Okay, We need to stop spending money and cut back. The government, of course, that's not how they do things, you know, but, you know, there's what's coming out of the Fed. Don't, inevitably, this will be all over the news today, all right, wherever you talk about. Do not let this give you a false sense of security. The truth is stranger than fiction. But again, nobody thinks past here. Nobody puts one and one together and gets two. The new math says it's three. But this is the problem. The government can't afford to borrow money. They're not issuing less debt because, gee, we don't need it. They're issuing less debt because they can't afford it. Just like you. If you can't afford something, you don't get it. Here's what happens. Where do the cutbacks start? All right? They're not going to start in... Social Security. They're not going to start in welfare. They're not going to start in food stamps, whatever it would be. No, the social programs aren't the first things that they're cut. They'll start looking at cutting, oh, I don't know, the VA. That's a normal one. They'll start cutting the military budget. That's a normal one. You'll hear all the leftists come out and say, we spend too much money on the military. Yeah, okay. At the same time, they're saying, we need to go to war against Russia. Yeah, guys, there's what's going on with your money. This is why I keep saying 
over and over and over again to get tangible goods, anything appreciable assets, food, fuel, gold and silver, ammunition, guns, whatever is going to be an appreciating asset because cash is a depreciating asset. That's the problem. We're being lied to. That, that, that comes as a surprise to anybody. But I just thought you want to know the truth. Have a good one. Pinball out.